How would you feel if I decided to get married again? What do you even know about her? Well, I know she's a stunning 27-year-old who loves me. <laughs> 27? That's younger than me. I know. High five. <laughs> Angie, George. <laughs> I want you to meet the love of my life, my fiance, Lindsay. Who's messing with you? A guy down the street put up a racist statue and grandma took it out. It wasn't a Mexican sleeping in a sombrero, was it? Yeah, why, you saw it? Just a minute ago. He's putting two of them up now. One on either side of the burro. <laughs> Grab a couple of baseball bats and head over there. This guy's not gonna win. I'm coming with you. Look, I appreciate it, Vic, but this isn't your fight. No, I understand. Just know that I share your pain. The Cuban people and the Mexican people have always stood side by side. When? <laughs> well, I guess at your wedding. <laughs> That's the only time I can think of. <laughs> I wanted to give you something before you go, George. Pocket knife? My father gave me that when I left Cuba. I was going to pass it down to my son, but since we aren't speaking, I'd like you to have it. Bet this has a lot of memories for you. Oh, yeah. When I was a boy, my father and I would go out to the fields and castrate the pigs with it. <laughs> Hey, I know you want to wait for George, but we have to get going if Carmen's going to make her flight. What is it? I got my period. I'm not pregnant. I guess the test was a false positive. Well, that happens sometimes. Oh, Princess, I'm so sorry. George is going to be relieved. What about you? It's funny, I, I wasn't sure how I felt. It was so unplanned. I'm a little sad. Remember how I used to cheer you up when you were a little girl? I don't think the tickle monster's gonna help me right now. Probably not. But remember, the thing about tickle monsters is that you never know when they're going to attack. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Thank you, Daddy. You can stop now. I know. You are too old for this. But age means nothing to the Tickle Monster! <laughs> okay. I thought you said your pregnancy was a false alarm. Shh. I didn't have the heart to tell him. So, what are you going to do nine months from now? Hand George a basketball wrapped in a blanket and say, look, he's got your head. Welcome home, Don Carlos. So you've heard about the American? Yes. He went with Nostromo <laughs> and the courage. To the capital? That's all they say. I hope he didn't go to the mine. When do we start? Tomorrow, early. Can I help you, sir? Yes. We would, we would like some cheese. <laughs> Very well, sir. What would you care to sample tonight? Uh, what's this? That's English Stilton. It's a form of blue cheese. What's this? Oh, that's Rambochon. Is it? Is it one of those stinky ones? <laughs> it's mildly stinky, sir. Okay. And how about this? Mm, may I suggest something a little less bold, sir? What do you mean? I, I like the way it looks. Well, with all due respect, sir, you're not ready for that cheese. <laughs> Get a little more cheese over here, please. What kind of wheeze would you like, sir? <laughs> What's that in the back over there? That's jalapeno wheeze, sir. Give us some of that. Well, with all due respect, sir, I don't think you're ready for that wheeze. <laughs> hey! Just give us our cow and, and don't even think about touching her. Mayor Gonzalez, your cow's recuperating. We don't care. Dead or alive, we want her now. Mario. Mario, que clase de bestia eres, chico. No has cambiado nada. Me hiciste caer otra vez, chico. Oye, pero esta vez sí de verdad que te tiraste de cabeza. Mira esto, chico.